What's up, guys? It's your girl Tanya, and welcome to Katora Tara. Guys, please like, share, and comment. Please subscribe to the channel. Anything you'd like to know about me or this channel will be down in the description below. Also, I do this for entertainment purpose only, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this is not your story, please do not try to make it fit. Stay tuned for many more videos. Maybe one of the other videos may be for you. I like to call in your warriors. When my warriors and the most high God to this reading so we, I could get clear, accurate channel messages. Please and thank you. I ask Archangel Michael to put an extra coat of protection over I and the collective. No psychic attacks. The more they try, the less they <laughs> the more they the more they see, the less the more they try, the less they see. Um, yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> Wow. So I was doing a reading, right? Just to see what the energy is like. Especially that it's the full moon. So I pulled some cards. And the first card to come out was a deceit loved one to visit in, the, in your dream time. Visit you in your dream time. So you get in dreams from um, somebody you know. I love you getting information. When you get up, write it down. So, you know, even if it doesn't make sense, just write it down. Because it's going to, it's like a puzzle. You're going to keep getting these dreams, these information. You write it down and it's going to eventually come as one and you're going to see what the message was. So always write down, no matter how small, even if it was, I just remember it being dark. Write that. <laughs> um, freedom or weight. So, freedom or waste for somebody. I'm going to be real and say what's on my mind. So this person, or you, is going to speak from their heart space. Spiritual jail. Somebody could be in spiritual jail or heading there. Then we got beach. So maybe you need to get to the beach. Or somebody went to the beach about you. I owe you. So again, somebody could owe you money or it doesn't have to be money. It could be anything. And, or you could owe them or they could owe you. We got spiritual ass whipping. Hmm. We got Jezebel spirit. We got comfort zone. We got New Jersey. Princeton, New Jersey to be exact. Or it could just be somewhere in Jersey. We got road trip. We got a hummingbird. Totem animal. Look that up or you could go deep into it. Or maybe the uh, hummingbird is your totem animal. And you should go in deep to see what the message is for you. But basically, the hummingbird is here when you go through um, adversity in life and things ain't working out. And you, you know, it just you, you, are, you, are, you're a warrior. So you go out there and you fight and you do what you have to do, but you do it with grace and resilience. People couldn't, you know, you got people in like, like what the, how you have people guessing and wondering how you know certain things and. How everything they try to do or say or whatever they try to do, it just is not working. Yeah, you got the energy of the um, hummingbird is around you. And you do everything with grace and resilience. We got forgiveness is needed. So maybe you need to forgive somebody. Or maybe you have and they still think whatever they going through is because of you. But they have to understand that they accumulated a lot of karma on themselves so when karma come back and knocking at the door whether you answer it or not karma gonna get in and do what she she or he do i'm telling you karma don't give a fuck if you were zero years old to a um a hundred years old and beyond karma will come and kick your ass so what part of karma you from because you know it could be good karma it could be bad karma so it's depending on what side you're on. 
And right now, you getting spiritual ass whipping and everything. And this person, you winning. And every time you win, your team win, your ancestors win, people around you win, your loved ones, the ones that really matters and care, they get that, you know, they win too. It's not just you. I'm just hearing like, your win, it's not just for you. It's for a whole lot of people, even people you don't even know. Your win means very, very much. And I think somebody knew that. And they try to do something to you. Because you have a, a deceit loved one coming in your dreams telling you what's going on. So somebody want to come in and quote unquote keep it real because what I'm seeing here is them quote unquote keeping it real, telling you the truth, is they hoping whatever you whatever power you have, you had the power to help them to come to this freedom. But they have to um they have to tell you something. And they really, really in their comfort zone. They had a spirit of Jezebel spirit on you, so sexual, sexual energy. They could have been stealing your sexual energy. Do you not know how important one sexual energy is? How they could build, build and build upon and you being who you are? Your sexual energy is like, whoa. Everything about you is like, whoa. Who is this person? I just can't get enough of this person. I want more and more and more of this person. Then you had the spirit of Jezebel on it. And then if this person is not giving you the sexual thing, you get mad. Because it's like, how come you rejecting me? And I'm, 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 I, I, get, I get them a dime a dozen. You know, if I blink, a bitch is right there. <laughs> you know, that's how they talk. Or a nigga is right there. They just show some ass and some tits. They had that nigga Jezebel spirit. You know? But I feel in order to get any just Jezebel spirit in you, you, it had to be a crack in the foundation somewhere. Because the only way any spirit are able to get through you is because there's a crack in the foundation that you need to recognize. And some people know it. But they got so, you know, they, they so much in their comfort zone with the spirit that's in them. They rather just keep it like, you know? Because they, they know what it is. They know what they're capable of. Their comfort zone, they they feel if they let go of something that's only a dead of them, that's literally a part of them for an individual, they can't even trust themselves that much to do that because they so used to getting them a dime a dozen, and they don't understand why you always winning. <laughs> you go. This person's ancestor is whooping this person's ass. Your ancestor is whooping this person's ass. They come in out here. They owe you something. They stole something. And they need to come and tell you everything and ask you for your forgiveness. You know, they could be coming from New Jersey or, where's that other one? Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee is out here. And we got Trenchton, New Jersey's out here. So it could be you from these places or this person from these places or something to deal with these places or what well, that's just what came out. So you gotta see what it resonate with you. But baby. Somebody try to get over using your sexual energy and build from it. And when you realize what was going on, you cut that supply off. Cold, you just like Ding! Because now you know. Like, what the hell? Use your own damn sexual energy to build for you and your family wealth and everything like that. How dare you? You know? That's why they they scared. They don't want to come tell you. But they had no choices because they get in the spiritual ass whooping. And let me tell you, that shit is not a game. Physically fuck me up. <laughs> don't fuck me up in no spirit. Because it's real. It's real out there in the spirit world. You can a spiritual ass whooping from these people like you messing with the wrong one is what I'm hearing. And they they realize this. I'm saying they. It's, oh, wow. It could be multiple people with different scenarios, stories similar. Yeah. They want, you, they want to be real with you. They want to um, confess what they've been doing behind closed door. And they praying that you forgive them. Because, again, like I said earlier, 
It's like your forgiveness is going to guarantee their freedom. So without your forgiveness, it's like you have them wrapped around your motherfucking finger, all ten of them. It's what you say is it's what's going to go. Otherwise, you're just going to be continuing in this ass whipping. He can't take it. Well, I'm saying he. He can't take it. But it could be a she. Sister Rose is needed because the female could be so much in her male energy. She don't realize it. And the male could be so much in his female energy. He don't realize it. So energy is for a sister Rose is needed. But this person cannot take this ass whooping from your ancestors and your guy. They whooping this person ass. Like you gonna you gonna learn today. It's what I'm hearing. Yeah, you praying that you could cut you that by speaking to you. Like this forgiveness, everything would be swept on the rug, everything would be Gucci, and they could come and go and about their life and do it. No, baby, it doesn't work like that. Like, for forgiveness, it's more for the person than you, <laughs> right? But granted, she gives the good forgiveness, and you go about your merry ways. Now, uh, not, not, not here comes karma, because you still got to weep what you sow. You sow some fucked up shit. Now you realize you're wrong, you still have to pay for the wrongs you did. You signed up for this shit. You learned it. You're going to make sure you don't do that shit no more. But to really seal the deal, not, not here comes karma. I'm on your ass. It's time for payback. I need my energy back. I need my money back. I need this back. I need my thoughts, my everything back. You is going to be so spiritual drain. You you want to come out of spiritual jail so bad. But you, it's like for some of y'all, y'all just rather die. Like, y'all ain't mind when y'all was doing it to this person. Whatever y'all was doing, drawing this person energy hard. Building. <clears throat> building them. Building whatever you making, whatever job, whatever you able to use. Like, you didn't just do this by yourself neither. Somebody taught you this. And you got greedy. Well, you got angry. You messing with the spirit. What you think? Especially a Jezebel spirit. The fuck? <laughs> she ain't get that name for no reason. I'll tell you that much. She ain't get that name for no reason. Damn. You did this to your soulmate. This was the one. Y'all was supposed to use your energy with each other to build, to nurture, to, to grow, to bring more light to the situation. Y'all, boy, y'all is, y'all is going to break certain generation on curses that's in your bloodline. Y'all had a plan, but somebody reneged on the plan. Somebody saw all this ass and tits going around and got happy. That's why it was easy for the spirit to enter your body. And take over. Because you wasn't 100% faithful to her where a, a person with big ass, big tits, or whatever, will walk by and your attention will not draw to her. You just keep looking at the one you have. But you didn't do that. That's why it was so damn easy for the spirit to enter your body and cause nothing but chaos in your world. And you don't know how to get out of it. So that's why you begging for her forgiveness. Because you really think her forgiveness is going to lead you to this freedom. You really think that. Her forgiveness, whole weight, yes. But karma still must come and play out. That's how that, that's the universal law. So within, so without, so above, so below. Now the laws is real. So whether you spiritual or not, or into astrology or numinology, the law still must prevail whether you know it or not. Damn. And then you owe this person. What did you steal from this person? What did you steal from this person? I mean, um, let me see something. I'm going to tear on this. What did you steal from this person? Was it money? Was it energy? Or was it just material stuff or material games? Which is useful because energy is good. The same way you got it, the same way you lose it. So it's how you got it, it's how, how you will keep it. That's an old saying that, that, that's so freaking true. Well, one of the come out here. We got a chariot in reverse, and we got empathy. 
that's a page of one in reverse but I didn't ask my question I was I didn't even this card need to be for that so I'm gonna shuffle it but those are the cards that flew out I'm gonna put back in and ask my question and see what comes up What did this person spirit steal from this other person? This IOU. What does what what is this IOU? Is it material wealth? Spiritual energy? Spiritual like what is it? What's going on, Spirit? Speak to us. We got justice. You did something. Like I said, and it's karmic energy. The Jezebel is nothing but karmic energy. This is karmic energy. Justice. You conspire against this person too. Because this person turned you down. That shit fucked with your ego hard. You ain't expect that. And you just did some ungodly things. That's why the law is involved. So you're not only in physical jail. Confirmation, you and you um, you in physical jail and spiritual jail, or you about to you about to head there because you're already in spiritual jail. So you hoping that you could stop whatever is about to happen by coming over here and asking this divine one over here for your forgiveness. Because like I said, I look, I'm tapped in, guys. Because your forgiveness, you, your forgiveness. It's all depend on this person's freedom. Else this person is not only, you know, you could get him out of jail. This could be, this, this don't even have to be an IOU in cash. This is like, damn, I owe you if you help me out. Get me out of this, yo. Like, please forgive me, yo, so that this won't happen to me. Like, I'm sorry, yo. This person really want to come in. I'm getting somebody who's, like, crying at night, but they're thorough. You know the hardcore guys who act like they don't know what tears is, like they don't have no damn feelings or not? But when it comes to you, a different side just arrives in this person and show you kind of compassion is what I'm picking up. But this person don't show that shit to nobody else. So don't know... This person is crying alone because they won't nobody believe that this is that person going like this over a female? What? Hold up. Not this nigga here or whoever he is. Not him. Or if it's a female, not her. You know, that person called like when God made this person, God made this person out of number prayer ice. That's how cold this person is. But that's just that's just a wolf and sheep closing because when this person is by themselves with you, you bring out a part of them that they didn't even know that they had within themselves. You fuck that person head up and confirmation and that caused a lot of confusion of what to do, how to do it, who to believe, who not to believe, who to tell us, who not to tell us. This person really going through it. Like I don't even know if I could tell this trust this person over here with my money, this, this and that this person going through it. And at the same time I want to show you like, yo, I'm sorry, yo, forgive me, because they really, really feel that your forgiveness will change their whole entire being. Let me tell you, again, your your feelings do matter. But karma will come and, and collect their death. I'm sorry. You have no control over that. None. And this person about to learn that the hard way. They might even hate you even more. Because they just might think that, damn, you supposed to be this, da, 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 da. you really can't forgive me? I've been forgive you, but you just don't forgive yourself or forgive the situation and move on from it. No, you teaming up with motherfuckers to try to do steal my my um my um sexual energy because that's what I see out here. Jezebel spirit is nothing but sex, sexual energy. Now you out here having sex here also a whole bunch of people. You probably low key down low too. So you know, because when that sex drive dealing with this Jezebel spirit, you want all hoes to be digged out. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that's the type type of energy she runs with. You just want all parts of your hole to be digged out. And you want to keep your shit in a, in a in a hush hush because you so hard, and like nobody will see you getting digged out in a hole or all holes that's on your body. There's a, you getting digged out of it, real talk. And you want to hide that. And you got you got 
you you take it okay i'm understanding the spirit even more because you're taking and using that jezebel spirit and you're having sex with multiple people you don't even know if motherfuckers is a snake or stand there to just trap you through sex that's your weakness if i were you i'd be stopped having sex Every, I will become celibate. I will find every way to clean out my inside. Because all of that right there is just going to be be a karma coming out of you. Be a shit you ain't going to be able to handle. What you thought you could handle because you so hard and you get bitches, in, you know, in the blink of an eye. I'm just saying, right? You're going to do this around by yourself because you're going to be in your pride because you're still uh, operating from your ego space, which... If you were smart, you let go of that ego real quick and surrender. But, you know, you ain't. Because now you're going to do, do, go through everything in silence. Because when you were speaking out loud against this person, plotting against this person, you never thought about it. laugh now and cry later. This is your cry later. Congratulations. That's what that tattoo means. Laugh now and cry later. That's exactly what you're doing. If you ain't already, you're about to. Because karma must prevail. And again, this is not no good karma. I'm saying that you don't even do shit but try to. You, you got your, your feelings hurt. You know, we in the. No, you pissing me off. Just read it. Yo, just because you got rejected from one coochie and you get how many coochie? I get it. I get it. This coochie is no like no other coochie. I get it. You're right. <laughs> You're right. But that's not the way you deal with that. Because you keep fucking every Tom, Dick, and Harry that comes to your path. You ain't going to, you trying to find what you found in her and these people. That's why you so, you know, and then when you get it, it's like, man, what the fuck was this? Why did that shit, man? That shit ain't even close to what that was. And the energy that, you know, it just, it was just right. And no matter what you try to do, no matter how small it was, you used to just hit. Bam, I'm winning, I'm winning. You never... Put the two and two together and realize that this goddess in front of you, this queen, this, she's just everything. Shit that you don't even know if she is in a great manner. She was gifted to you, but you didn't saw her as a gift. You saw her as a threat because she was happening to places in your heart, steaming, releasing what needs what been tied up and blocked for so long she's the key she was the key to open them doors that's within you that's in your shop it's helping you to open up and realize what the hell you have in front of you but you realize that in a small sense and instead of being that man that you want everybody to think you are what you do is you run because that's what you do best because you don't know nothing else. And mama ain't teach you nothing, but, you know, she probably was the type of mama that did everything for you. Not trying to speak of nobody mama in the, in the past tense or anything like that. But you were so much under your mom wing that you thought that she was your everything. Not realizing God sent you a whole goddess, a whole being, a whole... A whole individual that's not even from here and blessed you with that because what was promised to you was about to be delivered to you but by you saying rejecting it because that's what exactly you did you rejected this gift this promise that y'all set up before before you enter this planet y'all was so many y'all was destined for this go through what y'all went through learn what you went through go through your ancestors blood lineage and heal what you need to heal and everything you was a part of a big major planning you rejected it when the time when the going as you thought it was tough it was tough you ain't no tough until now because you thought tough was being with this person you thought that sleeping around I and mean, it was or even if it was just one person that you just could not stop sleeping with you know, you never put two to two together that that's not the person that's doing this. You trying to put this other person in a three-way um, relationship and she, she or he ain't about that because they're goddess. You know, they know they work. And what, what whatever you were trying to throw to them was nothing they needed to collect. So the minute you chose to stay underneath your mother's wing and then not explore and know that God 
did not give us to our parents for us to hold on to them for life. God gave us a certain amount of time to do what we need to do, what we can do our best of, with these kids so that they could go on and have their life and have their relationship and have their kids and then their kids, kids, kids have kids, kids, kids. You cut that because she was different. She tapped into you like nobody else and instead of trying to understand that with her, you going to people and comment and talking about her to people who they can't even regulate with what you, they like, damn, I ain't never been with nobody like that. But are they telling you that? You know, they don't, they don't see the, the, the greatness in what you see in your girl in there, so they get jealous. So they start giving you misinformation and shit to say right and all kinds of shit to redirect your, your, your mind, your attention. But you're supposed to be a black king, yo. You must have stand proud because you had something great that was about to be built. Don't worry, she's still going to be building and everything. It just won't be with you. I'm keeping it real. That's what you want, right? You want to keep it real from the heart. That's what I'm doing. She will continue because she understood the assignment. You, you, you didn't. You just got caught up in all of Satan's tricks. <laughs> all these spirits and you think having all them damn energy on you oh my god and whoever they slept with that shit on you too and you got to deal with all that man you you still dealing with your own shit you don't even know what is your own shit from what isn't because you got so much damn low vibration spirits on you around you that you don't even know who you are no more you really trying to figure out some of y'all not all you y'all some of y'all surrendering some of y'all isn't because now some of y'all really trying to figure out how the fuck did I get to this point? What the fuck did I do? We're the real common denominator because you was the type of person who didn't take um, accountability to your shit. That's another reason why this didn't work and judgment is out here. You didn't like to take accountability for shit. You used to point the fingers at every... Yo, if even the damn roaches fought before it was your fault, the animals fought before it was your fault, it's everybody's fault but your own. That was the common denominator. You... You didn't put into action how fucked up of an individual you really can be, or really was, or are, or however. You know? And instead of taking a loss and chop it up to the game and keeping it moving and have more experience and more lessons to learn, you holding on to this young lady who is so far gone. Shit. She's so far gone. That you looking, you like, uh, what's she at? Uh, I can't see nothing exactly. The guy to rest. Exactly. Judgment. You judged it her poorly. You didn't see nothing good about her. Just an easy fuck. I see, like, she's so kind. Like, you didn't see nothing good about her, but you seen everything good about her. Make that make sense. You didn't see everything good about her, but there was everything good about her. Everything. So, are you looking through the windows of your eyes? Or are you looking through the windows of somebody else's eye that, you know, reflected all of that dumb shit onto you and you energetically picked it up and made it your own? And then caused a whole lot of riffraff in your life now. Hmm. That's what that was. Judgment is out here for that. You you getting this, you know what you did, and you got to deal with it. Whether she forgive you or not, what she did, and what she will again. But you got to take it that, yo, karma is fucking real. And you didn't just do this to her. You did it to many, 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 many people. It's just when it came to her, she was your last hope in that moment. Not after you figured the shit out or figured as much as you figured out. No, in that moment. You was to see y'all going through the struggles, but you seen the, the great in her, the way she seen the great in you. That's why she stuck around as long as she did. But then her ancestors and them got tired of that shit because you was never going to change. You needed that wake-up call. And when you kept pulling away your energy and calling back your shit in daily and daily, this motherfucker was pulling in your shit. That's why you could never go try to do anything because you was too fucking tired. You was tired. 
And you never understood that motherfucker right there laying next to you, that motherfucker right there that you said that you, that gave you all these kids and gave you all these motherfucking promises, that same motherfucker that's taking your fucking energy, not only using it for himself, but bringing it to his bitch for her to use it. How low vibration can both of y'all be? Like, how whack is that sex that y'all got to come and get it from somebody else? And her energy and everything is so fruit. And you, yo, this bitch fell in love with her, too. Mind you, this one over here don't know nothing that's going on. She's just going about life, just doing the best she can in life, not knowing that the one that she sleeps right next to, the one that she birthed they, they kids, his kids for, is the one that's doing this stuff. Now he want to come cry and say, I'm sorry. Okay. No, I'm really sorry, yo. Uh, okay. No, come on, stop playing, yo. Who, who's playing? I said, okay. You weren't sorry. You want me to forgive you? Okay. Now, let me go about my life, and you go by chance. You good. You can accept that. You can't accept something to be just blunt and boom. You thought it was going, oh, you're going to be my energy now. Now I can low key still steal from you. I'm going to wait, lay down, but when you least expect it, I'm going to steal from you. Yo, even if it's just to be in your presence for a second. And even if I just want something with $5 instead of me putting a, all this money in and not winning nothing. Even if I win $5 right now, I know it's your energy that I'm in. That's it. This, this, this person's plan to try to come back into who you are. And try to still manipulate you. But trying to be more careful this time. Not realizing you fucking woke up. Not only that. You saw all of this before it even came. <laughs> before he even came knocking on the door. Before the phone even went bling, bling. You already knew what was up. That's why he will never understand. So when you was bringing games, she already knew what it was. So if anything happened after that, she, it was her plan. She planned it out. Teach you that you can't be your ungrateful son of a bitch. <laughs> you fucking user. You can't have nothing good in life. I had I had something great to give you. Instead of you taking just some of it, you want all of it and leave me to dry and go six feet under because my energy is so strong point and you you just can't help it. It's toxicated to you. Because you're not in your right mind. You're not in tune with who you are. You're a star player, anything. So, of course, my energy going to feel toxicated to you. If you're doing what you needed to do and what you need to and go to God. The most high God, not y'all God that y'all be praying to and using God. Name. No, the most high, the one true God, the only one. Catch up with him. Go ahead. He's great. And he's, my father is a very forgiving father. But that does not mean karma ain't going to come knocking at the door because you still got to pay. Even if father forgive you, damn, <laughs> I'm seeing that too. Even if father forgive you, I forgive you. Whoever forgive you, you need get forgiveness from. Karma still got to, from the past mistakes you did and the past what hollow you did. You don't know what you did to these females mentally. You fucking mess them up mentally. And you continue to do this. <laughs> you got to learn real quick. Real quick. Is there anything else? Let's get an animal spirit. See what an animal spirit want to come out. But like the hummingbird said, this, this, this woman, this goddess... The star seed, this indigo or crystal or even rainbow child is full of forgiveness, full of love. But it's not what you do in life, it's how you do it. I'm going to say that again. It's not what you do in life, it's how you do it. Because somebody could have the right intention and do right by it, but it's how they got it. But sometimes it's how you got it. It's the way you needed to get it so that you could better your situation and everybody else that's around you that's attached to your situation. That You know? So it's not what you do. It's how you do it. Let's get one for the animal spirit. This is crazy. You really 
tried it though you had a great one on you not even a good one a great one and you rejected it you rejected her you rejected god by rejecting her you rejected god and you're gonna feel it if you're not already you're gonna feel her loss and it's gonna be more painful than any loss you ever felt in your life this is an earth angel you threw away because you thought this jezebel spirit was better you threw away an earth angel for a Jezebel spirit. And you found out real quick that this Jezebel spirit is the worst thing you ever did in your own entire existence. You had you was put up against two spirits. Earth angel spirit and the Jezebel spirit. And you chose the Jezebel spirit. Because you didn't understand this earth, this earth feeling. Yeah. It's like you were saying one thing and doing another. So when the shit backfired on you, you couldn't handle it. You was missed the handle, all right. No cards on the come, okay. <laughs> I think I saw a half for you. You know, it's the full moon again. I forgot. I think it's Leo. Don't quote me on that, but it's the full moon. I think it came yesterday, a matter of fact. So the energy is still out there. You may want to look it up and work with it. Because, baby, karma will always come and get you, no matter what. That's just a grand desire. That's just how the, the universe works. That's a universal law. Again, it could be 100 years from now. You are not dying until you get it. And even if you do die before you get it, no, it's just going to follow you to your next life and make sure you get it then. So, what part of karma are you from? So, we got two out here. We got trust. <laughs> These are, okay. We, um, we got, the universe has a plan for you. Trust it. You're supposed to trust it. You didn't. So, because you didn't, things come and things go. Surrender to the Most High. Surrender to the universe. So you try something and it didn't work. Things come and things go. Let go of whatever you're doing, whatever you did. Let go of all of that. And go work on yourself. And I think I need to say this every video the psychiatrist is your friend somebody to speak to no judgment no nothing help you out get it you know go within hell go as far as far back in your past life see how you was then but you need to let this go you chose it you chose and now you got to deal with that karma and you got to stop thinking that it's this earth angel that did this to you no you did this to yourself this is your karma for what you did nobody Helped you. You helped yourself. Nobody forced you. You forced yourself. You. No one else. You. Now stop crying the victim. Take accountability. Forgive yourself. Because if you can't forgive yourself, that forgiveness that you're seeking will not feel good or justified to you because you never forgave yourself. Once you forgive yourself, you could forgive anybody. You could truly ask for forgiveness. And know if that person truly, but if you will never know because you didn't forgive yourself in the situation for allowing yourself to do what you did for the part you played in yourself. We could get people to the um, ocean, but we can't get the masses in the ocean. We can bring the horses to the river, but we can't force the horse to drink the water from the river. So again, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Trust the universe, you did not. Now, with the balsamic moon, things come, things go. Now, you got to surrender. By surrendering, you're letting go of all of this, what was, or oh, shoulda, woulda, coulda, and moving forward and building from there. Because, like I said, my God is a forgiving God, but you still have to go through karma. You do all that, still healing, learning, everything, let all this go, you'll see that you have your own energy. And if you truly give in to the universe and the most high, your life will turn on round 360 and you won't, nobody can't 
you gonna condemn you for your past. Your past is what it was. It's past. You're here now. You're dealing with it now. You're not too far in the future because the future is still set in stones. Yeah. So you need to forgive yourself. That's what this is. You can ask all this forgiveness you want. Hell, you think this double, you, you know, she better got money this, but you think it's all about her apologizing and asking you forgiveness that would lead to this freedom. But how about this forgiveness for yourself? Forgiveness is needed ASAP for yourself. Forgive yourself so this freedom could happen. You may really think it's the freedom that divine feminine will accept from you. You know, I'm, you say, I'm sorry, you however you go about. She accepted, and you think your freedom, that's what's going to give you freedom. I'm hearing from some of y'all know. Some of y'all is forgiveness for yourself for what you allowed to go on. For that little crack in the foundation that it was big enough for this Jezebel spirit to creep in and take you out of your comfort zone. And have you doing things you ain't do. Now you can't never say you didn't do it. Good, bad, or indifference. You're looking for freedom, but the freedom is within you. That's where the freedom lies. You can't go outside of you. Confirmation. You can't go outside of you looking for forgiveness from Tom, Dick, and Harry when you didn't forgive yourself. You will never know Tom, Dick, and Harry freedom on um, forgiveness is for real or not. Or they low key throwing psychics attack from what the way they thinking and stuff like that. Cause you know these spell works is why you don't even need a candle in that to you know. And it's just the thought pattern of your brain. You wishing this person ill reasons and or whatever. You gotta stop it. Cause you're doing more harm to your foundation than you did than you try to do to that person. And that's what's playing out. Be mindful about what you think about yourself and about others. Because it will play out in the physical. So, is it good thoughts? Yay! Is it, eh? Well, then I would want to stay away from that, eh? Because I, I dealt with Wahala in the past. I'm not going to continue repeating the same thing over and over. At some point, I have to get it learned, apply it, and move on. And yes, I'm not going to sit, sit up here and tell you, oh, it's easy, it's comfortable. Just forgive yourself and move on and everything is going to be peaches and cream. Hell no, I'll be lying to you. I would be lying to you like there was no other. That's not what this is. But you truly need to forgive yourself. Just the same way you need to love yourself. Because you will not know what love is. If you don't love yourself, how are you going to teach people how to love you? By loving yourself, you're showing other people, well, damn. Oh, they like their nails done. They like their hair done. They like, you know, that's amazing. That's a must. So let me, you know, not say that, oh, you got to, you know, but I'm saying you getting deep into a relationship and everything. You look out for one another. It's not one person doing it more than the other. She look out for you just the way you look out for her. You know, equal give and take. But if you always want to take, 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 and give the bare minimum, the bare minimum you will get. I said the bare minimum you will get. So the bare minimum you will get does not apply to this freedom awaits you until you do what's right. And that's, first of all, before you go ask anybody for any forgiveness or anything, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. And when you forgive yourself, then you can forgive others. When you love yourself, you teach others how to love you. So they love on you. So it's either they match your love or they try to go above and beyond. But you ain't taking less than what you give your own self. Like, why would you do that? Why would you take less for yourself? And give more to others. So when you have to build, grow, fall down, and get back up, where your cup at? It's on the other side with other people because you done gave it away. Your cup's not running over, it's running dry. You need it to be feeling spiritually filled. And in order for it to start to even begin to do that, you gotta just forgive yourself. Truly forgive yourself because you can say what you're gonna say, but if your energy doesn't match up with what you say, that's a, it's over with. You got to love yourself, treat yourself good, pay attention to self, and forgive, 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 truly forgive yourself. And you will see 
gradually how things clear up because then you become, you know, surrendering to the most high, to the universe. So everything, you get more clarity and you're going to see shit more. You're going to pay more attention and you're going to understand more. And you're going to realize that little box that you kept yourself in was you doing it because that box can't hold who you are because you like be a, you're beyond the universe. In a sense like that, right? You, who you are is so damn broad and big, you can't even hold you in a baby box. Are you kidding me? You get suffocated and you feel like if you don't break out of this box, you want to <laughs> strangle yourself or something. Go dead or something. So, no. Nah. And take it easy on yourself. Because you're here, we in this big university called Earth, which is just a big school that we all are on, figuring it out. No one soul got all the answers. But everybody got a piece of the puzzle because everybody is a piece of the puzzle. So know that everything that you went through, it was destined for you to go through it for where you are right now. And what you can and how can you approve to continue being better for yourself. Yeah. I must have rambled. Yeah. Sometimes you want to come out of spiritual deal, but you, you fit. Okay, I'm hearing that this beach, you need to get to the beach and get a wash off. Head to toe, got to go into the beach water is what I'm hearing. Not just your feet, but your feet will, you know, everything happened with the feet. But you need your whole body underneath that water. That's what I just heard. So make time out to go to the beach. Or that could just be a spiritual bath, some of y'all. If not, all of y'all need to get a spiritual bath routine going. That's what I'm hearing. Know that a week cannot pass by and you have not taken at least one spiritual bath. At least. And that's being very generous. Like, we got to love and balance ourselves out both physically and spiritually. We got work to do, people. Let's do it. We got to do it for ourselves so that others be like, oh, okay, let me go do it. You don't have to physically be there, but, you know, something you did, say, planted that seed, and now that seed is growing within that soul. Yeah, so be happy. Congratulations, you did the work. Everything is working out, you know. And clearly, you just going about your business. You're not being stressed out because you did the work. This person needs to forget, do the work and forget itself. And stop blaming everybody else. And take accountability for their self and their action. For what they did. Yeah. This person is really getting a spiritual ass whooping. And you just over here winning everything you put your hand to in your mind to you got it. So you your your um something about you, you just manifest different from everybody. And it's like mind blowing to some people. Yeah. This Jezebel spirit really wanted to build off of you because of your energy also. Get ready, because get your papers ready and everything, because here go your road trip. It's coming up. It's coming up. Get your papers in order is what I'm hearing. Don't worry about nothing. Just know that it already happened. <laughs> so just put it into action for it to show in the physical. All right. That's what I have for you guys. Guys, please like, share, and comment. Please subscribe to the channel. Anything you'd like to know about me in this channel will be down in the description below. I'd like to thank your warriors and my warriors and the Most High God for this beautiful reading. And yeah, all right, Major Micah, thank you for the extra protection around us. And yeah, y'all have a blessed day now. Later.